Well, hey guys, good morning. Get on up out of that bed. It's time to get after it this morning. I'm so excited. I'm dropping the phone. Big A, coming to you live this morning from First Baptist Church, Hendersonville, Tennessee. I'm about to get in there and get after it this morning. I can't wait. Hope you guys are up and at it this morning as well. I just finished reading Phil Knight's book, Shoe Dog. Uh, man, what an inspirational story. There's some things in there that I don't necessarily align with and agree with, but there is so much in there about grit and determination and perseverance. And I was thinking about it this morning that I was reading the acknowledgement section of his book, and I was thinking about the people that he was appreciative to, the things that he did that absolutely rocked our world. And you look back at a guy today like Phil Knight, he's the 28th wealthiest man in America, $33.5 billion. He started this company back in the 60s, and this memoir is unbelievable that he takes us through. And at the very last uh, pages of his acknowledgement, he talks about what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. And he was talking about the sleepless nights that he had. He was talking about the times that he didn't think he was going to make it. He talked about the times that the bank called his loan and he couldn't pay it. And he talks about owing the customs agency $25 million when that was more than his annual sales and the negotiation process that he went through and the people that he hired and the people that he got around him to help him work through these difficult days and times and uh, the loss of family members throughout his life. And it just is uh, absolutely mind-boggling thinking about the trials and the tribulations that he overcame throughout this process. And it's very inspirational, and it takes you there very vividly. It helps you understand what it's like to be an entrepreneur. And I started thinking through some of the guys in our mastermind group, and I could name dozens and dozens and dozens of guys in our Iron Sharpens Iron mastermind group that has that level of determination. But this morning, for whatever reason, I don't know, two people came to my mind. One is a guy named Derek Champagne. Derek owns the Artist Evolution in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and he does digital marketing for us at View from the Top and Iron Sharpens Iron. And seeing his perseverance, seeing the way that he's willing to work through whatever obstacles there are to overcome, many times we've tried things that didn't work well. And he said, Big A, we'll figure this out. It's not a problem. I've got this. My team is on it. We can do it. It's never a defeatist attitude. It's never throw up my hands. I don't know. Maybe you need to get somebody else to do this. He always has that attitude of we can do this. We will figure this out. Whatever it takes, I'm going to make it happen. And I just love that attitude. He's got that attitude every single time I work with him. Every Monday we meet, our whole team gets online and we talk through the things that we need to do in order to continue to promote our brand and the things that we need to do. And he's always got that attitude of we can do it. Man, listen, if you're looking for a digital marketer, you're looking for somebody with a can-do attitude, I want to recommend the artist evolution, Derek Champagne. He's off the chart. The guy is insane. He tries so hard to do a great job for us. Not only us, I hear it from everybody that he works with, and I thought he's got the Phil Knight mentality. He's got what it takes to be successful. He's the entrepreneur that's going to figure it out. And this is not a hype for him. I just thought about him this morning while I was finishing up the book. And then another young man, Joshua Elliott. Joshua Elliott was with the military for about a decade, and he's quitting his job, and he started a company called Nautical Tees. T-E-A-S, nautical tees. And at first, just to be honest with you, I wasn't real excited thinking about what he was doing. I was thinking, oh yeah, you know, other young men have tried these things. But man, seeing him dive in and the research that he's done, seeing him really understanding from a national and international perspective as it relates to drinking tea, I, I love tea. And so I guess it really kind of resonated with me. But more so than his product is his determination, his willingness to do whatever it takes. And he's getting in and he's building a brand. He's building a for himself. He's staying up long hours. He's researching. He's reaching out to people that can help him take his brand to the next level. He's relentless. And I'll tell you, he'll end up being one of the most amazing tea connoisseurs and salespeople in the country when it comes to teas. I got on his website yesterday's. It's nautical teas. 
Tea.com and ordered a big order of tea. And I started looking through all the teas that he had. And I thought, this young man is crushing it. He's got that determination. He's got the willingness to set aside the other things and focus on the things that matter. And here's my question to you today. Do you have that? Are you just kind of haphazardly passing through? Are you just kind of like, well, that was a little bit hard and I don't think I can do it. And you set it aside and then you cry because you're not successful. Listen, guys, we've got to have the determination that people like Phil Knight and Derek Champagne and Joshua Elliott and some of these guys that have got to build their brand, to build successful companies. And I remember Phil Knight talking about the sleepless nights that he had and he was tired in the 20 hour days that he worked every day. And I'm not advocating that you work that type of hours ongoing, but there are seasons of our entrepreneurial journey that you have to give it the extra effort. You do have to work longer hours. It's just the nature of being in business for yourself. And listen, if you're a whiner, if you're that kind of, they'll get around me. (laughs) I don't have patience for it. I don't have time for it. Oh, I had to work an extra hour. I had to put in a little extra effort. That's not going to get it done. If you want to be successful in life at whatever you're doing and building your brand, it's going to take extra time. It's going to take a level of commitment like most people don't have. That's the reason most people are not successful being in business for themselves. I forget what the percentages are. It's insane of the people that go out of business the first three years. You know why? Because you're not putting in the effort that it takes in order to get there. It's just the truth of the matter. It's hard that go work being in business for yourself. It's hard work work, being successful at anything. It doesn't come easy. And when I watch guys that are hugely successful, Drew Brees is one that comes to my mind, professional football player. It's insane, his workout. The guy's worth a trillion dollars today, yet his workout regiment remains the same. You know why? Because he wants to be great. He wants to be great at his craft. And in order to be great at your craft, it takes time and dedication and that willingness to put in to be great. My question is, do you have that? Do you have that level of determination? I'm going to kill it. I'm going to be so good at whatever it is I'm doing. I'm going to set aside the distractions, the things that are not moving the ball along the fence, along the finish line. I mean, I'm going to move the things out of the way, and I'm going to push that ball down the field until I cross the finish goal. Guys, 41 years this year, I've been in business for myself. I know what it takes to be successful, and it's hard work getting the right people around you, making wise decisions, and being willing to fail fast so that you can find out what doesn't work and so you can double down on the things that do. Listen, I'm about to go in the gym, and I already know who's going to be there. I see them all the time up here, and it's the people that want to be successful. It's the people that are willing to put in the reps, to put in the hard work, day in and day out in order to be successful. And many people go, hey, I want to look like that. You're not going to look like that in the gym unless you spend the hours there. It takes the time. Same way in business. You need to have that determination like Derek Champagne, like Josh Elliott, and like the other guys in Iron Sharpens Iron to be great. And I just want to ask you today, do you really have it? Look deep. See what's inside of you today. If you want to be great, you got to put in the reps. I'm Big A, coming to you live this morning. I can't wait to get inside. I am so looking forward today. Hope you guys have a great day. Go kill it. We'll see you next week. Have a good one.